pain so we know that uh, the it use it it is a it has a cap eight zero eight six a microprocessor is a, it has a one MB of memory means what in order to access so you will be having a two part twenty which is one MB so in order to go to that particular locations we have to use twenty bit address bus and uh, the data is sixteen uh, bits the data is sixteen bits and uh, this we discuss so we'll be having a uh, 40 pin uh, GL in uh, package which is a pin diagram where we will be having a 40 pins and it can be operated in two modes minimum and maximum mode and we discussed about uh, architecture the in the block diagram so we have a uh, uh, two main independent functions what are those two uh, two main independent functions ma'am We have a two independent units in eight zero eight six. What are those two independent? BIU and EU. Yes, we have a BIU and EU. BIU is bus interface unit, and uh, BIU is bus interface unit. In EU is execution unit, and in BIU, in BIU, what will be doing, ma? In BIU, what is this processor? Processor has to execute. So for execution, we have studied in the first Fetch. unit. Yes. So BIU is for fetching. BIU is for fetch, and uh, EU is, is used for uh, EU is used for decoding and execution. Yes, it's, EU is used for decoding and execution. Okay, and uh, in a BIU, we we studied all the uh, that we have in a BIU, like uh, what is this uh, six byte prefetch queue? Man? What is a six byte prefetch queue? What will be stored inside okay. this? Six instructions will uh, fetch. Six instructions, pre instructions. Yes, yes. So, whenever we already uh, just now I said no. So, BIU is for fetching and EU is for execution. So, when BIU is fetching, uh, the EU will not sit idle. So, EU will do its own work like whatever the already fetched instructions will be moved to EU for execution. Meanwhile, the queue will be empty. And this uh, fetching of instructions will be done by BIU. For that, for that, the BIU has to calculate the physical address. For calculating the physical address, the uh, formula is uh, segment register into 10H plus offset register. So what is the segment registers? The segment registers, we have four segment registers that we discussed. So core segment, stack segment, data segment, and extra segment. So we have a four segment registers. So core segment, stack segment, data segment, and extra segment. So we will be even calling as as segment based registers. Segment based registers where it stores the base address of a particular segment. If it is a core segment, it stores the base address of a core segment. Uh, uh, the allocation. So let me show with an example. See here, ma. So we discussed about uh, uh, the queue in the last class, and we discussed about these four segments. But we have not discussed about, but we have not discussed about how to calculate the physical address. Okay, and we have not even discussed about what is this IP. IP is instruction pointer, constant rate. So IP is instruction pointer. These are the four segments. So, so try to concentrate. We have a memory. We have a memory of size one MB. So, of size one MB means, for example, if we have a uh, eight into eight, this indicates it is eight. Eight is an address and eight is a data lines. So here, in order to represent this eight to two power three, so we we require three bits. So zero 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 like that until one one one. So if it is zero, it is pointing to zero zero means 
you will be as it is a so it is represented with three bits in the same way as it is 1 mb as it is 1 mb will be represented with will be represented with 20 bits the address address it is represented with a 20 bits to part 20 which is nothing but 1 mb so it is represented with 20 bits now now so this entire memory try to concentrate now this entire memory will be divided into segments we have an advantage why we are dividing into segments but uh, i want to go for the main topic so we'll be having a code segment a data segment stack segment and a extra segment okay and and you'll be having a, in order to access that you will be having a 20 bit so fetching biu has to go to that particular location mm -hmm. and if biu has to go to that particular locations it has to maintain the a this is your 8086 this is your 8086 in order to fetch we'll be using biu bus interface unit why because bus interface unit is used for fetching the instruction so for fetching an instruction we'll be using the uh, uh, segment based registers so segment based registers so you'll be having four uh, as we have as we divided the memory into four segments four segments we have four registers core segment data segment register uh, stack segment register and extra segment register which is of size 16 bits which is of size 16 bits so i don't want to spe specially mention that it is a 16 bit by default what are all the registers that we are what that we are that we are present in 8086 will be of size 16 bits but in order to go to this particular location you need to represent 8 bits so for that what we have to do is we need to select the uppermost bits the uppermost bits so this 20 will be represented uh, in a binary to hexa no so hexa means how many digits we need to represent if it is uh, this binary 20 bits in hexa means how many digits five. so 5 1 2 uh, 1 3 2 4 0 h so this is your starting address of this particular code segment okay so and try to uh, try to identify man so whenever they are going for a segmentation they they are planned that it has the lower digit must be zero the the organization it is it is planned in such a way that it should be zero means definitely it will be uh, it starts with this core segment will start with this one particular address but definitely the lower digit will be zero the lower digit will be zero in the similar way let us consider data segment uh, data segment uh, memory location is started in 21340H. So, what we will be doing is 2134 will be placed in the data segment register. This is different. This is your segment, and these are your base registers which is used for going for this particular location. So, what, we, uh, what this uh, physical address is, this physical address. So if you want to go to this particular location, we have to do core segment. We what what we have in a core. Let me go for a data segment. Okay. So let us consider processor has completed execute uh, fetching an instruction. Now after decoding, it has to go to core uh, data segment for uh, getting the data. So data segment has to be ready. So in a data segment register, we have two one three four. 2134 why because it cannot store 21340 20 bits as the size is 16 bits so we have it uh, it is present as 2134 so 21 so we'll be having a 2134 this 2134 has to convert to 21340 for that for that it will do left shift operation so it will do left shift operation what is this left shift operation how many times it has to do left shift operation means try to convert this to try to concentrate man. try to convert this to in a binary uh, this is a hexadecimal representation if you convert this to in a binary you will be represented as what ma 
what is this to in a hex uh, it is in hexadecimal i want to convert that hexadecimal to binary tell me two is represented in binary as 0010 zero, zero, zero. yes 0010 zero, zero, next one okay zero one zero 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 one zero zero okay so two one three four now this two one three four we need to get as two one three four zero for that internally system will do left shift operation how many times it will do is four times so here the uh, the most significant bit will will be shifted so you will be having zero so next this will be coming so zero one zero this zero will be coming here zero next this zero zero one next this zero will come here zero next zero one one next this zero will come here next one zero zero and in the empty location we'll be placing a zero okay one time completed and how many times we need to do is we need to do four times so if you do four times completely this will be So we need to do left shift operations four, four times. So when we do four times completely, two will be So you will be getting as this four, this two will be coming out as we have done the four times. So zero, zero. One zero, this one will come zero one zero 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 one one. This four is zero one zero zero, and extra extra four bits will be with what mark? Four times if you do left shift extra this uh, this uh, shifted four. Uh, the, yes, four, four zeros, ma'am. Very good, very good. And ma'am, second so one this, also. Three zeros, no one. Zero zero one. Ah yes, ma. It's not yes. four. Okay, okay, okay. So they have done a mistake. So it is zero 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 one. It is zero 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 one. Okay, so this is your answer. So finally, you got your twenty bit physical address. So to get this twenty bit, what we have do internally, system is doing left shift operation. Uh, how operation four times. But as we know, simply what we are doing as a human beings, it is it is like we know that if you multiply with the ten, you will be getting as uh, two one three four zero. But internally, this multiplication is performed by the system by left shift. You, you, everyone knows, right? So multiplication and division will be performed by uh, the shift operations. And so in this case, this we have done a left shift operation. So I will show with this uh, diagram. So this is okay, clear. So now, but it is showing in this as segment into ten h. How uh, this ten h? Uh, how how can we get this ten h? As we have done our left shift operations four times, so that you will be getting uh, zero in the least significant bit. Okay. In the next is what plus offset. Now try to understand what is the use of this offset. Okay. What is the use of this offset? Offset is very important. Ma, even I discussed in the uh, addressing modes called an offset. Can anyone tell me what is an offset? Okay, so first I will explain, then I will ask you. So here, this this is used for going to this particular location. Okay, next, what is offset is in this particular the processor is uh, uh, system the processor is executing the data segment. Let us suppose. Okay, but processor wants to execute this. Uh, uh, wants uh, to execute the data which is present in this location. Okay, in this location. Okay, so for that, base register is used for storing the starting address. Base register is used for storing the starting address. Plus, how much if you add, you can go to this particular location. Why? Because the processor want don't uh, processor 
is not asking this data the processor is asking the data in the data segment in that a particular data segment this one okay so for that if uh, this this the starting address of a data segment is, will be present in the data segment uh, register but if you want to go to this particular location even we need to calculate this particular 20 bit physical address so for that we are adding plus offset so in the same way like what we have discussed in uh, index register addressing mode so we have an address in inside an address we have a the array location so this is your array like a0 a1 a2 so on so you will be having a basic address as 200 so it will be present in 200 but if you want to access the element 0 1 uh, second element uh, so this one so what we'll be doing plus 2 if you add then you'll be going to that particular location in the same way this base is used for store uh, this so the starting address will be stored in this four segments any of this if it is processor is executing uh, wants an instruction which is present in code means the code uh, inside a core segment register will be having a starting address of the core segment like 13240 but but it wants in that core segment is also very huge so this is your core segment in this which instruction which instruction it wants to execute to go to that particular location what we need to add is an offset offset so in this element we have a hundred elements hundred elements in this hundred elements we know the array it's starting in, a, in an address called hundred this hundred starting address will be stored in, a, in um, the instruction itself in a, where we have discussed in addressing in the same way the core segment, data segment, stack segment, extra segment, it stores the starting address. But every time a processor will not go for a starting address. In that, it will go to a particular instruction. For that, how what to add to go to this is offset. Plus offset. Plus offset. If you add plus offset, then it reaches to this 20 bit uh, address. Then whatever the instruction that a processor wants to fetch will be given so that is the reason that it is given physical address equals to segment so which segment is it it is based on the processor if a processor uh, wants to execute an instruction so it fetches an instruction so if it is an instruction if it, it the segment uh, present here is a core segment if it is executing the if it wants to fetch a data means the the segment that is present here will be the data segment if it is performing a push and pop operations means if it is stopping the main program execution and it wants to push uh, if because of subroutine call means the segment used here is a stack segment means what inside a stack segment we have a starting address okay but in this the processor wants to access this location which is present in the stack segment for that we need to add an offset so you must know for which particular uh, segment registers what are its corresponding offset registers okay try to concentrate now so i said no offset registers if you add an offset registers uh, if you add an offset registers then you can go to that particular location example so let us consider there is a textbook now so inside a textbook you have a chapters like uh, you have a chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four same you try to consider the, those chapters as segment registers inside those chapter if you want to put, go to a particular page what you have to do is chapter page number plus uh, the offset if you add you can go to that particular page in the same way processor if a processor is uh, wants to execute an instructions code instructions then you will be it is using a core segment plus it has to add an offset to go to that particular location so for that for that you must know the corresponding offset registers for the core segment register stack segment register so for that these are the corresponding segments see here concentrate so this is your core segment data segment extra segment stack segment these are the corresponding offsets okay so this is your instruction pointer this data uh, data segment these are the three offset registers any one can be used means uh, bx bx is base register di is destination index si is source index and uh, uh, 
extra segment for this extra segment the offset register used is uh, destination index and uh, for stack segment we'll be using a base pointer and the stack pointer we'll be using two offset registers now we'll be concentrating on ip see here ma if you see the diagram so if you see the diagram uh, what is this ip is it a it stores a base register or it stores an offset register ip offset register yes it stores an offset register now here these are all all stores an offset register no for a uh, stack we'll be using what for the stack we'll be using what ma for the stack we'll be using bp and sp which is a base pointer and a stack pointer for a stack segment the two offset registers used are a base pointer and the stack pointer okay for for that try to concentrate so see here we have uh, these two for uh, if a processor is executing the uh, stack point uh, stack segment then the corresponding offset will be either a stack pointer or a base pointer so next is uh, si and di if it is executing uh, the what the data segment then it will be using a si and if it is using a extra segment then it will be using a di as well as offset registers now you should think that so we have an offset register these are the offset registers but one offset register which is present here why not here is try to consider ma processor will be executing an instruct it will it will it has to execute an instructions so for that for that it has to it has to complete three phases fetching decoding and execution so for that we know we know program counter role very important right so can anyone tell me what is a program counter ma what is program counter it stores the address of the next uh, instruction yes it stores the address of the next instruction right so inside this try to concentrate ma so inside this is your memory and let us consider this entire is your core segment okay so in this the starting address of this core segment is 12340h okay now this this first 1234 will be present inside this register 1234 now once this this is accessed so in such case it has to be placed the corresponding offset register has to be placed to zero next this has to come to this location why because whenever program it is executing the program it has to come in a sequence one by one if this instruction which is present in an address 100 is completed then it has to go to 101 then it has to go to 102 then it has to go to 103 means which has to change try to understand which has to change the core segment register contents has to change or ip has to change ip ip has to change why because core segment it stores the starting address it is fixed so in all the starting it is fixed but offset value has to change why because first the processor is accessing this after this the processor has to add, uh, access the next content which is present in 101 for that the offset has to be incremented by one previously it was zero so the 100 plus 0 so it will be go to this particular location next it has to be incremented by 1 so it is 1 so it goes to 100 base address plus 1 which is present in the instruction offset register 1 it goes to 101 next again it has to be incremented offset register to 2 so that 100 plus 2 you can go to this 102 location so for that this ip here will be acting as a program counter means ip it starts with a basic in value then it go on increments its value so that it the entire core segment will be executed one by one okay now try to answer in which case this ip will be cleared and it stores the some other value in which case the ip will be cleared and it stores the some other uh, location offset value in which case If you know program counter, then you can answer uh, instruction point, Emma. Um, 
when you will be when this offset let us suppose uh, it is now offset is now 2 so 100 plus 2 it goes to this location next in this location if there is a branch will the offset should be 3 for the next time will no, the offset, no what it should be so let us consider the branch to this is let us consider 120 means how much uh, offset value should it place 3 or should i should it place 20 20 20 so try to understand by default instruction pointer offset will be incrementing by one but in some cases when there is a branch when there is a branch some in, in that case this has to be the uh, this offset value will be cleared and it will place to which particular how, how much value if we add so that it reaches to that particular location is 20 so 100 plus 20 so this 20 so 100 will be by default the starting segment and plus whatever that we have present in the instruction pointer if we add then you will be getting a one a 120 so it goes to that location so this is your uh, the instruction pointer so that is the reason that this instruction pointer is placed in biu why because this is used for fetching an instruction this is used for fetching an instruction it is it is same as a program counter okay it is same as a program counter next let me clear all this more okay so i, I completed this so uh, what is this how to calculate a physical address uh, segment register into 10 h plus offset into 10 h internally system will do what operation left shift left shift operation how many times four times four times plus offset what why there is a need of adding an offset to reach internal uh, addresses yes a particular specific segment. location okay yes. within that uh, segment if you want to go for a specific location then offset is needed but uh, you must know which offset register is used for which particular base segment registers so for core segment what is an offset register for IP. IP. For stack segment, what is an offset register? SP and BP. SP and BP. Others also respond. Ma. For DS, what is a st stack uh, offset register? What is an offset register for data segment? Huh. DIS and BX. Yes di si and bx and what is this bx i will try i will explain but try to understand bx is also acting as an offset register in case of data segment and uh, for extra segment it is destination index for extra segment it is destination index and remember one thing so if i'm saying as where is this so if I'm saying as uh, in a stack pointer, we can use two offset registers, a stack pointer and base pointer. You must know the difference, OK? So there is a stack segment. So let us consider you have a stack segment. So this is your stack segment. So what is a stack pointer? What is this base pointer? You must know the difference. Stack pointer is, stack pointer is whatever the stack, uh, uh, top of the stack, uh, inside uh, what we have in the top of the stack so let us consider you have this this is a stack for sake of understanding so in this you have a 10 6 7 8 2 okay so this is your top of the stack so uh, stack pointer is uh, it is used to access this location top of the stack now let us consider for sake of understanding a processor from this course uh, stack segment location from this stack segment location location it wants to access this location then in in that case it is which which offset register is preferable is base pointer so base pointer is inside a stack segment if you want to select any specific uh, content from that then you can go for a base pointer stack pointer is 
uh, if you add the stack pointer means definitely it will be pointing to top of the stack element it will be pointing to top of the stack element but uh, for every time it won't be possible in some cases whatever that the data which is present in the stack segment instead of accessing the topmost top of the stack element i want to access any one which uh, which a processor is preferable in such case instead of using a offset register as a stack pointer we have to use a base pointer are you getting the difference between a stack pointer and base pointer so stack pointer is what so stack pointer is if you add a, a stack segment which is a starting address location plus a stack pointer as an offset register it reaches it it, it reaches to the location where uh, top of the stack in in such case you can go for a stack pointer where a base pointer inside that stack segment location if you want to go for any other locations instead of top of the stack then you will be using a base pointer okay now now i have done with a physical address calculation i have done with a segmentations and uh, i have done with ip now i i have also done with this but i have to explain about this queue in more detail ma try to concentrate see here we have a queue so i said that in advance we can uh, we can prefetch six bytes consider one byte equals to uh, one instruction size as one byte so consider as we have we have in advance six instructions in advance we can fetch six instructions okay in advance we can fetch six in instructions one two three four five six okay so this instructions you'll be giving for uh, which unit ma which unit will be giving for this fetched instructions control unit yes control unit is present in which unit eu eu so we'll be giving for eu and this it goes for control unit for decoding after that it goes for alu for execution okay so for that see here there is this is your memory location so it is calculating the physical address by formula what mark is how it is calculating a physical address physical addresses segment register into 10h plus offset yes segment register into 10h plus offset register okay. plus offset register but uh, this after calculating it goes to that location and it fetches so whenever it is going so initially instruction will be executed so definitely the segment register in this case for the first time will be instruction which is a four segment four segment plus your offset will be will be which register for score segment ip so just now i said uh, ip is same like a program counter it go on increments and once this this is fetch this will be placed inside a queue next 101 this will be placed inside a queue 102 103 like that let us consider entire queues filled up okay so 105 106 now inside um, 107 okay so this is the entire is filled but in some case if there is a jump let us consider this in this instruction there is a jump to a location called 201 what happens inside an instruction queue we are not decoding just we are fetching an instruction from the memory location and in advance there is an uh, there is an advanced uh, where in we can uh, we can fetch six instructions okay so if six instructions in this second instruction let us suppose there is a branch okay so in this instruction let us suppose there is a branch and it has to jump to the location called 201 okay means what the rest of the uh, instructions that we fetched in advance what happens is uh, will it be useful will it be useful ma so let us consider this first instruction whatever that we fetched is given to us. control unit it is completed it is executed next this two we have given whatever the instruction that we fetched for control unit it is decoded and it it identified that it has to go to the location 201 but what we have here 
like 101, 103, 104, 105, 10, be thinking that it will be executed in sequence. But maximum of the cases, program, the program will be executed in sequence only. The program will be executed in sequence only. The program will be executed in sequence only. But in some cases, when there is a branch, then what we have to do, you have to go to that particular location. In such case, what happens, whatever that you have fetched in advance will be cancelled. Are you getting my point, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, when, why? Because we are fetching. We, we don't know what is present in that instruction. When we can know that what is present in that instruction, whether it is a branch or whether it is a subroutine call, it will be decided when we decode. So when we decode, it identified that there is a branch instruction to a particular location called 201. So whatever that instruction that it has been fetched, all has to be cleared. And it has to start with that particular address. And it has to fill the queue again. So that point you have to mention. Why? Because sometimes you will be getting a separate question explained about instruction queue. So instruction queue, if a program counter is in sequence, then instruction queue will have an advantage. Whatever that we in advance, we, uh, we uh, fetch these instructions will be executed in sequence. But when what what happens if there is any branch branch to a support uh, some location, then whatever that we have in advanced uh, fetch all has to be cleared and it has to start with that particular location. It has to start with that particular location called 201, 201, okay? So it has to start with 201. And one more. So whatever that we, for example, one completed inside this two, it identified. So three, four, five, six instructions which are fetched from, from this particular address will be canceled. And it starts fetching from 202, 203, and it places inside this queue, okay? So this is your queue. So there will be one question. When when a clue, uh, queue will be cleared, Mark, can anyone? When the queue will be cleared? When any branch or any functions Sorry. are encountered. Yes, when there, when there is any branch or when there is any subroutine function encounters, then the queue will be cleared and it places with those instructions or branch instructions address. Next one more is, let us suppose, one is given. So three, four, five six so it is of six six uh, bytes right so this will be empty one two three four five this will be empty okay so you should be one question you should keep it in your mind when this queue will be filled when this queue will be filled is when when it is one byte is empty it won't fill why because 8086 is a 16-bit processor means what it can in a single clock cycle it can get the 16 bits not the 16 bits are nothing but uh, one eight bit is a one byte so it can it can get two bytes of data okay so when it can get a two bytes of uh, uh, instruction or a data when it is empty so it will not try to use uh, uh, one uh, clock cycle so it will wait for until two empty slots. Means what? So now let us consider this is executing. One instruction is executing. Now this is completed, got an execution. Now this two will come to this location. And you have three here, four, five, and six. Now this is empty. So when this two empty, then it goes for getting the other instructions by calculating the physical address. So why? Because it is a 16 bit, which is which in a single clock cycle, it can get two bytes of in, uh, instructions. So it will go and it will places inside this two. Okay. So we have discussed about Q. So Q is when we'll be clearing all those is when, when there is a, a branch or when there is a subroutine count uh, encounters in the decoding section all has to be cleared and it has to fill with the branch address locations. And when you will be filling the uh, queue is when there are two empty slots, then you'll be going for a, uh, filling the queue. Okay, next. Is it clear everyone what we have discussed in BIO? Why, can anyone tell me why it is connected to this memory map?
write is connected to memory. Yes, ma. Fast. What what we have done in BIU? Tell me. Fetching, ma'am. Yes, for fetching, definitely. Uh, fetching and instructions will be present inside a memory. So for fetching, we have to connect that. And uh, here we are calculating the physical address. And uh, these are what are these three four registers called as offset registers or base registers? Four registers. Base registers. So are those four are a base registers and IP is what ma? Offset register. Offset register, which will be called as a program counter. So I will show uh, offset register instruction. See ma, this is instruction pointer register okay register which stores the instruction address to be executed so what what i said my instruction pointer each uh, time instruction is fetched from memory to be executed in processor ip content will be added so that it always show to the shows to the next instruction so it's like a every time it has to be added uh, ip has to be added and internally it will be incremented but when this ip will be cleared ma if branch instruction, the IP content will be loaded with a new value, which is a branch address. Okay, so that's the reason that IP offset register plays a very uh, main role for executing. So that's the reason. So it will be present in a BIU. So it will be present in a BIU. Is it clear, everyone? BIU. Is it clear, BIO? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Next. Next, after that, we'll be going for execution unit. So in execution unit, whatever that we, are, we have, we are giving for a control unit for, for decoding. After decoding, the deco the it will identify what, what operation, what op code it is given. And it identifies where are the operands are residing in which particular registers. And then it will perform an addition. And finally, you'll be getting the result. So for that, it uses, I already said that a processor have will have a registers, which are of two types. One is a general purpose registers, and we'll be having a special purpose registers also. So here, these are the, the four are the general purpose registers, which are very important, ma'am. So we have a four general purpose registers in 8086, which is AX, BX, CX, and DX. The, the size of AX, BX, CX, and DX will be 16 bits. Okay, will be 16 bits. Try to consider all the registers which we are using in 8086 will be 16 bits, except the general purpose registers will have, uh, can uh, use uh, either as a 16 bits or either as an 8 bit. See here, this is of 8 bit. This is also of 8 bit. Okay, so that means AL is um, uh, lower order bits, H is a higher order bits. Okay, higher order, lower order means let me show with an example. So, see here, this is your 16 bits. So, it starts from 0 means it ends with a 15. So, 8 bits means 0 to is it 0 to 7 or 0 to 8? Mark 8 bits means 0 to 7. Zero to seven. And 8 to 15. So this will be of 8 bits, and this will be of 8 bits. 8086 will have an advantage of accessing either an 8 bit or either a 16 bit. So here I am converting this as lower order bits AL and uh, AH. So lower order bits means it is from 0 to 7, higher order bits means it is from 8 to 15. It is from 8 to 15. So lower order uh, 8 to 7 were. We, when you want to access, so it is of size 8 bits and it is of size 8 bits, okay? So X indicates whenever you have, you will be getting a question as a X by seeing that you should know that the capacity of that register is 16 bit. So if it is mentioned in the question as a L or a H, you should know that the capacity of that is 8 bit, not a 16 bit. Only for general purpose registers will have a capacity of splitting that uh, 16 bits to two individual uh, eight eight bits so now you should know what is a indicates a is accumulator a is accumulator so ax is accumulator b 
vx is base register cx is count uh, count register dx is data register this we will be discussing in the next class mode but try to understand so let me complete this architecture then we'll be going one by one with explanation so ax bx cx dx these are the general purpose registers next uh, what is this sp bp sidi ma offset registers yes offset these are offset yes ma these are offset registers and uh, this alu is for based on the operands are present in uh, which particular general purpose register based on that that particular operand will be given for uh, the opcode which is mentioned in that instruction and you'll be getting the output now try to understand here what is this operand so the result will be stored inside this and you must know the flag okay flag is nothing but it, sh uh, it shows uh, the status of the after completing the execution the result of that will be stored in in the flags so flags how much is the storage capacity is flags is also one register here you will be using one register so the capacity is 16 bits okay so inside the 16 bits you will be using individual uh, flip flops for representing the different uh, flags you will be having so many flags like a uh, carry flag zero flag so zero flag is uh, each flag is a flip flop so you will be having so many flags now let us consider for sake of understanding there are nine flags let us consider so in that nine flags each flag is a flip flop each flag is a flip flop means what so if for, for storing all these flags we'll be using one register which is of 16 16 bit okay so we'll be using first for storing the status of this flags means what after completing some operation called addition you'll be getting the result what is this result is that result is negative number if it is negative number sign flag will set to one is there any overflow if there is any overflow then overflow flag will set to one flag is a, a simple a flip flop so it is a flip flop it either stores one or zero if it is one that indicates that particular flag is set to one means if the result if you if i performed a here you got a and here you got a b which is a x and b x can anyone tell me a x is how many bits a x is how many bits it gives input as how many bits 16 a bx means 16 okay so if i'm giving instead of ax and bx a h b l now tell me how many bits i'm giving as input 88 yes i'm giving 88 bits as an input and you'll be getting the result and the result that is generated after performing if you are getting all zeros then zero flag will set to one then zero flag will set to one so flag is only a single bit representation so as you have so many flags we'll be using one uh, one register for storing the flags so which is of size 16 bits but all 16 bits will not be used only few will be used and the remaining will be unused in that particular